Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we are going to do a quick guide on everything you need to know about growing cotton in Farming Simulator 19. If this is what you are looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, as mentioned, today we're going to go over everything you need, to, you need to know about growing cotton. So we are on no man's land, I've created the field on here, which if you need to know how to create fields, that video is linked below. Go check that out to learn how to create fields. Check out my playlist on how to grow crops in general if you're looking for a different crop. I'm still looking to get more out and more videos out as I'm doing this, so just be aware of that. Um, so yeah, um, cotton is very similar in most ways to other crops. There are just a few changes as far as harvesting and storage and collection goes, so we'll go ahead and jump into those. So first thing we are gonna talk about is the different growth stages. So here's just a field that says cultivated. Here's cotton planted. Cotton in the first growth stage, cotton in the second growth stage, cotton over here is gonna be in the third growth stage, and then ready to harvest is gonna look like this where the plant has kind of died off and you have the cotton that's sitting on the plant there. So we are gonna harvest this section of cotton here, and I'll show you what to do with the bales and everything like that and go over some of that as well. So just like any other video, I'm gonna divide this up into stages and I'm gonna go over the equipment as I go over those stages. So give me one second and I'll bring you back in with the equipment. All right, so stage one, like most crops, is going to be field prep, so you either need to cultivate or plow, and again, if you need to know more about those kind of things and what to use, you know, versus a subsoiler or a plow or a cultivator or a disc harrow, uh, check out my video about that down below, but essentially you need to do one of these two things to get the field ready to go. Um, first things first is plowing if... So if you understand farming simulator, a little bit you need to know about that is plowing, if you have plowing turned on, so if we go into the menu here, if you have... Um, Let's find it here. Plow, periodic plowing required turned on, then that is something you need to be able to do every uh, three harvests. And that's gonna, if you don't do it, then you're gonna lose 15% of your yield. So if plowing is required, do plowing. Then after plowing, you can go right into planting, which is stage two. Um, but if you don't need to plow, then you can just use a cultivator instead of plowing. And then you can move into stage two as well. You don't have to do both, one or the other, essentially, depending on what you wanna do. And if you plowing is not required, but you only have a plow, then use a plow, it works just fine. So then stage two is gonna be planting. So use any planter, not cedars, use any planter. So here is an example of a planter here. So none of these are gonna be direct drill. Um, this is a larger one. We'll look at all this stuff in the store as well too. So um, you're gonna use a planter. This is also gonna do corn, sugar beets, and other crops such as that. It's not gonna do um, wheat or barley or um, those kind of more grass-like crops. Um, stage, or excuse me, stage three is gonna be field care. So again, just like any other crop, you're gonna to need to do lime or fertilizer to get the best yield. There's two fertilizer states if you're not playing with seasons on, and there's gonna be lime required every three harvests, just like other crops. And then if weeds pop up, you need to use some herbicide. There are other ways to take care of weeds as well. Um, you can use a weeder and stuff like that, but most common method is gonna be um, herbicide in a spray tank like this. And you can also use this to spray down liquid fertilizer. So. That is everything for field care. So again, just pretty pretty simple, okay? Um, not a whole lot to it here. Um, harvesting, there is a specialized harvester. So here's where it gets a little bit different. So you either have to lease or purchase one of these. And this is the only one in game. Again, I'm not gonna go over mods. Um, matter of fact, the only other cotton harvester I know of is gonna be the John Deere DLC mod. So um, just be aware of that. There's not a lot of options available to you. And the John Deere harvester, I think is 800 and some odd thousand dollars, which is about twice what this is. So then moving on to um, what I'm gonna call stage five is collecting and storing. So it's a little bit different. So this thing creates bales of cotton. So you need to, it's gonna unload bales out the back as they fill up. Um, so you either need to use this bale trailer essentially or this one to move them. So this one hooks up to the back of a tractor and this will hold one cotton bale. So they're pretty large. This one will hook up to the back of either a dolly or a semi truck. So here I have a semi truck hooked up to it and this will hold two cotton bales and we'll go over how to use these as well. This is a dolly. So this could also be used to haul this instead. So if you put by a dolly, hook it up to a tractor, you could haul the bigger trailer around if you would like to as well. Um, another thing to note, if you do use the John Deere cotton DLC, that makes round cotton bales, which need different equipment to haul and move around. Okay, so as far as, um, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's, let's jump into the store and take a look at some of the different stuff in here as well. So if we go into, uh, we'll start with phase one again. So again, cultivators, there's your cultivator options right here. So this is the one I have I have, yep, that's the one I have out there. Uh, so any of these will work except for one of the cedar versions, obviously. So a cultivator, a disc harrow, or a power harrow all essentially do the same job. And then if the plowing is required, then you either need to use a plow or a subsoiler to get that plowing state. And again, 
if you don't have a cultivator then just use one of these to prepare the field anyways then phase two for planting planters are going to be in here um, all of these will work i have this one specifically out right now but yeah all these are working this one's a little bit special in the sense that it does do some of the other crops as well as some of the row crops so if you're looking for kind of an all-in-one planter planter cedar this is a good option for you um, but otherwise yeah none of these are going to be direct drills so just be aware of that and essentially what a direct drill means if we go into cedars here this one here for example is a direct drill it'll read down there direct drill which means you don't have to plow or cultivate after a harvest i mean you still may have to plow if plowing is required but otherwise there's nothing special about it you can just go right on the seed or right on the field and plant after you have your previous harvest off of it okay so crop protection so or field care is going to be phase three or stage three so crop protection is going to be found under here we have different liquid fertilizer spreaders and herbicide spreaders you have these this guy's just going to do solid fertilizer these two are going to do lime and fertilizer so you can use those to help uh, get what you need to get done um, weeders again this is an option in the first growth stage only only the first growth stage where you can take weeds out with one of these guys here so just be aware of that and again there's also slurry and manure spreaders which can add fertilized earth states as well um, so just be aware of that so there's that stuff um all right next step is going to be the harvesting portion which if we go into um into the vehicles menu here there's cotton technology and here's the only harvester there so again quite pricey if we go into the details here even if you're just going to lease it your initial leasing cost is twenty four thousand seven hundred and thirty five dollars and per operating hour you're looking at just over 10 grand so it is very expensive to do cotton however it may be worth it so we'll go over the prices and kind of things you're looking at for cotton in general um cotton technology under um implements and tools is going to be right here and it's going to have those two trailer options available for you so again this one can be pulled by a tractor this one by a semi truck or a dolly and if you go down here to dollies there's a dolly option for you if you want to use the bigger trailer so that is available if you don't have a semi truck all right and that is everything as far as all that stuff goes there are different mods and different things for storing cotton bales and everything like that um, i will note as well the bales are twenty thousand liters but it's a very low yield crop so off of that little section there we may get a thousand one or two thousand off of that um, we'll see in a second but we're not going to get a lot you can unload partially finished bales they'll be the same size as a full bale but they are partially finished which is nice so you don't have to get the full twenty thousand liters out of this machine um, which is absolutely fantastic as far as selling cotton goes we go into the store here and we move over to cotton 23.90 and it's going up so the price is gonna be really good you're looking over 2,000 easily per 1,000 liters so it's a very very high value crop very very high value crop so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in here and I'm actually gonna turn on the help menu so you can see some of the different options so the harvester is unfolded it does fold down into a smaller setup it does not move very fast so there's it kind of folded down there so we're going to fold it back out you can hire a worker to do anything here except for picking up the cotton bales off the field and this if you have a worker hired will automatically unload full bales of cotton as you get them so essentially it's designed to get those rows there obviously you don't have to have it exactly lined up so we're just going to pull up here and i'm going to hit h to hire a worker but you would just lower it normally hitting v so if i actually unhire the worker here and back up a little bit if I hit lower harvester and hit B to turn it on, then that's gonna get everything good to go for me to be able to do it myself. But I'm gonna hire a worker. Um, I have crop destruction turned off, so it won't destroy it. But if I do have it turned on, you notice it's gonna, well, actually, since it's hired worker, it's not gonna do it, but we'll unhire him just so I can show you. These guys do get destroyed. Actually, it may not get destroyed by the harvester. That'd be interesting to test that. So I guess they don't get destroyed by the harvester, but they will get destroyed by another tractor, and I'll show you that here in a second. So just be aware of that. They are, they can be uh, hit by, and again, we did that whole section. We're only got 146 liters. They can be destroyed. Um, so let's hop out and let's hop in a tractor over here. And we'll need one of these tractors anyways to be able to get our cotton bale when it's done. Anyhow. So we hop into the, oh, not the truck. We want to hop in the case over here. Hop in the case here. And I'm just going to turn the help menu off for now because uh, it doesn't matter at this point. I'll turn it back on when we start using the trailers. So if we do drive over here and we drive through part of the field it should destroy it yeah so there you go you got destruction turned on it will destroy it my beautiful cotton field is destroyed so just be aware of that be careful of that now yes it does destroy these guys here but this isn't a crop that's going to grow back these are dead they're not going to do anything so it doesn't matter if you destroy these guys here and it's not going to take him very long he's going to have this uh done for us in just a second um so i'll show you how to use this trailer in a second um and the other trailer is exactly the same as this one except it holds two bales 
So essentially what we're gonna do once we have a bail out is we're gonna back this trailer up and if we turn on the help menu here, we're gonna hit B to go into the operating position and then we're just gonna back straight up to a bail. You have to get pretty precise. And then once you get close to that bail, it'll automatically load it up. And then I'll show you how to unload once we get a bail on here. So the cotton harvester is gonna make a loop there and hit the last stretch. And it might take it a second to get down there. So I'll bring you back in once we have a bale ready to go and get out of the machine. All right, so I harvested more than I thought I was going to have to. So I I didn't really take good care of this field. If you look, I didn't put any fertilizer. It's over here. Sorry. We didn't put any fertilizer on it. Plowing's required. Lime's required. So I didn't really take good care of the field, um, which is partially the reason for this. But uh, I would have gotten much more yield out of my first part of my field had I taken good care of this field. But I was just trying to get cotton grown um, as fast as possible. So... Um, we are now, excuse me, we are now just over 2,000 liters. So you do have to get up to at least 2,000 liters to unload the bale. So you have to get at least 10% full. So now if you look up in the upper left-hand corner, it says Y to unload finished bale. And if we hit Y, the back's going to open, it's going to tilt back, and it's going to unload a unfinished bale. And that's what the cotton bales look like. Full or unfull, finished or unfinished. And then after it does that, then we are going to go ahead and hit Y again to close the back up. And I'll go ahead and just hire a worker to keep working on that. We're going to hop out and go grab our trailer over here. And again, both these trailers work just the same. So we'll hop in this and we're going to go pick up that bale. Oh, I guess he's done harvesting. <laughs> Anyhow, it won't matter. So we're going to hit B to turn it into the operating position or to put it into the operating position. And all we're going to have to do is back up somewhat close you have to get relatively close to it, where there it's going to grab the bale and pull it on automatically. Once it's on there, then we're going to hit B again to put us down to transporting position, and then we're going to drive away, and we'll actually take it up here and we'll sell it, and you'll see how much we get for just a partial bale of cotton. So up in the left-hand corner, you can see that we can put it back in operating position, which won't matter for this case, but we can hit Y to unload the bale. So we'll pull over the sell point here, which this is the only sell point in no man's land, and we will hit Y to go ahead and unload the cotton bale. So there's just over 2,000 liters in there, and we got $4,600 for that. So not bad at all. If you can imagine a full bale, which would be 10 times that, you're looking at $46,000 for a full bale of cotton. So it is, it is worth the money if you get going on it and you're able to invest in a harvester and everything like that, and you will get a much higher yield if you take better care of your crops. I think we would have gotten about 60% more if I'm doing the math correct. Yeah, I think 60% more if we had had two fertilizer states, the plowing and the lime put down, maybe a little bit more. So, I mean, definitely a lot more you would have gotten off that field. But uh, yeah, I'll turn that help screen off. Well, anyhow, guys, that is everything I have for you for cotton. Um, if you have any questions about cotton or any other crops, please comment them down below. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. But uh, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please drop a like down below. And if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join your or join the channel, and that way you'll be... Uh, You'll be able to see any other future videos I post on how-to guides and other crops and everything like that. This has been Farmer Cop, guys. Thank you, and thank you for watching.